Taking a flight, a short one, from Downsview Airport in Toronto to Toronto Lester B. Pearson International Airport. Um, we are going to be flying in the JMB Aircraft VL3. Uh, it's slow moving aircraft, so it's not really intended for long distance flights, but for short commutes, it's excellent and fun to fly. So let's take a look at um, our route that we're going to pick. So we just clicked on the world map. And there's uh, Downsview Airport right there. Charlie Yankee Zulu Delta. We'll set that as our departure. And there's Toronto Lester B. Pearson right there. Just zoom in on that so I can get that airport button. Click on that. Set that as our arrival. And then, in order to get a flight plan with uh, this plane, we're going to have to pick Instrument Flight Rules, Low Altitude Airways. And now I'm going to have to pick a runway. So we're going to fly into runway 24 right. Right there. Okay, so that gives us a flight plan now with our waypoints. Now, if we look at our nav log, we can see that our altitude is going to be 3,000 feet into Toronto. Set your cruise altitude at 1,400, it says. Okay, from this point, we can just hit fly. So it's real-time weather, and it's uh, this is uh, Microsoft um, 40th edition. So what I've noticed is there are some changes to this plane. It doesn't operate, I would say, as well as it did in the 2020 release. Uh, the autopilot is the issue. Approach hold, those buttons don't work. So we're going to take a look at how to get around that with this plane and still enjoy flying it. Because it's going on short distance and very easy to fly, uh, you can get by without autopilot and IS, LS landings, as long as the visibility is good, weather's good. So we're ready to fly. There's the plane, really cute little plane, two-seater. So here we are at Downsview Airport. So we're ready to fly. Let's take a look inside the plane. Control 1 will bring up this screen. So if I hit this button, you'd want to be on GPS to follow your uh, flight plan. Now previously, you used to be able to click on here and bring up um, your autopilot, your um, yaw damper, your approach hold buttons and everything it used to pop up in this area here. It doesn't work anymore. Also, I'm going to hit on my keyboard uh, or on my um, programmed joystick, the Logitech joystick, I'm going to hit my button program for autopilot. And previously it used to show up in here. Autopilot on, approach hold used to show up, so we're not getting that now. Altitude used to show up when we hit the altitude button on the keyboard, ALT, and that doesn't show up. So how do we get around that? We do have a flight plan because we use the world map. So I'm going to split here. If I press flight plan, you can see we do have a flight plan here with waypoints, but we have to follow it using visual flight rules and uh, the map here. So let's just go back and go full and I'm going to go split again. And get this map here and you should be able to press um, map here 
and get nav frequency so this is how you would set your frequency so for runway 24 the frequency is 109.30 megahertz 109.30 megahertz and transfer so that's now the active frequency the problem is uh, without the autopilot working and the approach hold it really isn't going to uh, help us at all in our landing we're going to have to do uh, you know just a manual landing uh, but once they update this system and get this working again like they used to and you can and now access the screen showing your autopilot buttons etc and your nav one button and everything and then uh, you're still going to have to go through this step and things should uh, work a lot better but for now um, we're just going to show you how to fly to Toronto Airport and land this plane. Pretty easy to land. You got a few buttons over here. Avionics and your battery. Uh, here's your heading. So you can uh, you can scroll your heading. See the little heading bug there? But without the autopilot working, it's not going to do you much good and also your altitude. I'm just going to set it anyway. Altitude right here to 3000. There we go. Just a reminder that's the altitude I want to be at. There's your um, barometric pressure. I'm just going to hit B on the keyboard and it didn't change so that is the actual barometric pressure right now. now let's go over to screen number two by pressing control key two on my keyboard so there you can see we have a map we can zoom out and you can see the route they want us to take looping around here and back into runway uh, 24 right so we could just follow that so we do have a path to follow uh, to get to the airport now let's go control three so we can see here there's our parking brake there's our throttle so we're going to control our speed using our throttle there's a the trim and uh, I'm going to use my my joystick to control the trim to try and uh, you know keep a proper altitude without fighting too much with the aircraft so the throttles right back now I'm going to throw the parking brake off So some of the stuff's inoperative, so control four gets us back out. So that's basically the stuff we need to see. There's your flaps lever there. ELT. So let's just uh, set uh, the flaps are up. We'll set them down a bit here. Now I can use my keyboard to set the flaps up or down. You can see the, the flap gauge moving here. So we're ready for takeoff. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little something inside the aircraft really quickly. I'm going to go over here. Okay, so they don't want to exceed uh, 160, more is 185, 165 knots. Cruise speed's around 121. Uh, maneuvering speed is 88 knots. Your maximum speed with gear down should really be 81 knots, although if you put it down, uh, you're going a little faster, it's probably not gonna matter in the flight sim world, but uh, that's your recommended speed. And then for your flaps, 65 knots. So pretty slow when you're approaching to land. Try and get it down to 65. Now the stalling speed is very slow on this aircraft. It's uh, low, it's uh, 29 knots. So you can slow down really good for your landing without stalling. I think we're ready to fly. So just going to take a look out the front windshield and start giving it some throttle. The parking brakes are off. So I'll show you how to fly this thing without autopilot working. I'm just going to pull back gently. 
we were doing uh, only around 55 60 knots and it lifted off fairly nicely so now I'm going to bring up the flaps and the landing gear so I pressed uh, G on my keyboard I use the keyboard for landing gear and my joystick for the flaps so now I'm going to take a look inside here So you see the route Approach they want JM us to take here? It would be nice just to turn and fly there, and you could if you feet. wanted to. But I'm just going to go outside for a sec. I'm going to show you something else. A little map here. Okay, I'm going to back off here. Climb and maintain 3,000 feet JMBVL 3107. So you can see they've given us a different route here why I don't know but this is a heck of a lot shorter so I'm gonna fly out this way and get my altitude up to 3000 I'm gonna fly out this way and turn around and come back now one thing I've noticed without the autopilot working when you pick up these waypoints it doesn't go magenta on you this stays magenta doesn't matter how close you come to these waypoints doesn't seem to matter so I'm just going to fly out this way and turn around and uh, do an approach. But the other one would have taken us way out over the lake. Like, I mean, that's going to take you forever in this plane because it moves so slow. So we're just going to do a short loop around here following this one. So I'm not sure why that it's happening but it uh, could be a little bug in the system but you've got like two sets of waypoints to follow to get you into runway 24 right so I'm going to try and stay around 3000 it's climbing right now so I'm just going to use my trim to try and bring it down a bit so it doesn't climb too much now, when you use your trim to go down, it seems to level off and start climbing back up on its own. Like you can see over here, the number's going back up. I trimmed it down and now it's coming back up. But at least I'm not fighting quite as much with the plane. So I'm going to turn now. And head back towards Toronto Lester Pearson Airport. Uh, I'm just going to try and get my speed down a little bit out of the yellow. Try and hold it around 3,000. So basically using the joystick, very easy to fly. So there's Downsview Airport, and there's Toronto, Lester B. Pearson up ahead there. So we just took off a, a Downsview, came out, turned around, and now we're going back. Let's take a look at the aircraft from the outside. Very nice. You can put your own tail information on, your own call sign, and your flight number, etc. So it's a it's a really nice little plane. Well uh, rendered in this version. So this is uh, 40th edition. Like I said, uh, this plane actually did work better with autopilot, etc. But I mean, it's so such an easy plane to fly that you almost don't need autopilot. Like right now, it's just following the course nicely, um, trimmed off, so it's holding its altitude good. But 
at the rate we're moving here, we can almost drive uh, from this airport, Downsview, to Pearson on the, uh, Highway 401 almost as fast as we were flying there. Because we had to go out and around and back, going through the terminal, etc. Almost be quicker to drive, but for demonstrating this plane, it's a nice short roll of flight. But I'm quite pleased at how well it's holding its elevation here. Um, just with the trim set. You can see that. So this is runway 24 right here. But I'm going to have to turn now. See if I can line myself up. Once I get um, online here, I'll be able to use the... Uh, map inside the aircraft and I can shut this one off right here so let's go back inside and you'll see what I mean see I'm, and I'm going to zoom in here oh getting a little too fast I can zoom in get myself on track here so we're way off track here I gotta get over you're seven miles Present heading and altitude expect ILS runway 24 right approach via PICMA transition clear to PICMA JMBVL 3107. Now if I hit the approach button, uh, it doesn't come on. I'm not accomplishing anything. The plane's not descending or picking up a glide slope. But it does still help to do a flight plan because you see I have something to follow. I know that I'm on track there. So I'm going to start descending now and I have to get my speed down. Remember for the flaps and landing gear it's very low. Flap 65. Landing gear around 80. So I can put my landing gear down now. And I'm starting to descend. Now, being Climb this... Maintain 3,000 feet JMBVL 3107. Yeah, being this close to landing, if I go up to 3,000 feet and you start coming down with this thing, you're going to be going so fast you won't be able to put your flaps down or your landing gear. So, we're doing fine here. So I want to get my speed down. I've got it on idle right now. It's almost like a glider. It's just floating in there. But I want to try and get the speed down so I can put the flaps. But once I level off here a bit, it should slow down. Wow. Okay, barometric pressure is B on your keyboard. Yeah, so that doesn't make any sense. Huh? Climbing right now when we're almost ready to land. Okay, so I'm going to put the flaps down now. Hey, this thing just like a glider. I mean, beautiful. I may have to give it a little bit of fuel. But remember, stall speed is like 29, so... You don't need to give it too much. So I'm going to descend. So it's on idle right now, the throttle. Let's have a look out. GMBVL 3107, please expedite your climb 3,000 feet. Okay, so to try and get down here.
listening to him too much about my altitude instead of getting down. Okay, nice long runway here. So she's right on idle. And just gently set it down. There we go. And I'm braking now using my joystick. Get your flaps up. And we should be able to exit right here. So, there's a flight, short flight, with the uh, this aircraft, the JMB VL3. Worked very well. Um, kind of liked them to get that autopilot working. I'm just going to press my button on the keyboard to bring up ATC and ask for Toronto Ground. I'm just going to bring them in. Okay. And uh, taxi to the gate. Toronto Ground JMB VL3107 request taxi to the gate. JMB VL3107 taxi to gate 70 using taxiway Alpha Alpha Lima. Taxiing to gate 70 using taxiway Alpha Alpha Lima JMB VL3107. Now these uh, blue arrows came on in case you're not familiar with them and you're new to Flight Sim. You can uh, do that in your setting under options, have uh, assistance put on these blue um, markers for you, these pointers to find your way to the gate because quite frankly, it's very difficult to find your way around these airports, especially in the dark without these markers. Hopefully it's not too far to the gate. If you're in a larger aircraft, you can be able to get um, fuel, power supply, um, catering services, jetway connection. But with a little aircraft like this, uh, basically you just park it and get out and walk into the terminal. But you may have somebody here, a ground crew, to direct you directly into your parking spot. I'm going a little fast here just to speed things up. Normally you would drive a little slower. Let's go inside and have a look here. So when you put these arrows on, they give you a big blue box to go into as well. Visual aid. And when you get inside it, it will change color and then it will disappear completely if you're where you should be. I should really... This thing does tend to wobble back and forth a lot. Let's see what he's saying. Get over. So I'm going to slow down now. Okay, got to go straight. Okay. See? Okay. So, outside that box disappeared. So we're in the right spot. Everything's good. So you would now call for services. I'm going to go inside. Control 3 on the keyboard. Put the parking brake on. So this, Because this thing will take off on you. Even with the throttle down. So now let's take a look outside. Okay, so for catering, you know, or ground, let's see what they say, ground services, let's see. Yeah, go back to clearance, so there's nothing that you can ask for. Alright, let's shut this thing down, Master Avionics. And the key, turn that off. 
Okay, and uh, let's go control three here. See what we got down here. There's a fuel. Turn it off. There we go. Okay, thanks very much for this flight that you joined me on. I hope you got something out of it. Um, and like I said, hopefully they'll get the autopilot uh, Garmin system up and working on this. But I guess that's a work in progress. Thanks very much. See you next time.